are a lot of questions about what the rookie officer did the morning he killed Atatiana Jefferson in her own home. And did he follow his training? It's not training, it's fear. When you have fear of a community, and if something seems out of order, you use your last resort as your first resort. So we showed the body camera video of the incident to former assistant chief James Hawthorne. He was over the Arlington Police Department's academy. He says Dean's biggest mistake was not announcing he was a police officer as soon as he approached the home. We train officers uh, uh, as they approach to remember that so that they do announce themselves, that they give loud, repetitive verbal commands before they take action so they give the person on the inside an opportunity to understand who they are. He says when officers don't do that, homeowners are startled. He says Dean also did not follow his training when he shouted commands but shot within seconds. It just did not seem um, that he gave the, uh, the victim an opportunity to comply with his request. The other concern is why Dean had his weapon drawn on a welfare check. Hawthorne says that's not necessarily a bad thing because no call is routine and officers don't know what they might face. But he also says it could raise the question of implicit bias. A white officer going into a predominantly black neighborhood assuming the worst. We go to great lengths to try to train that out of people. You can never take it all away. Uh, but, you know, you, we, we train that you can't make assumptions. Dean's training records show that in May he went through cultural diversity training and Fort Worth Police does have implicit bias training. Hawthorne says the department will now have to reevaluate its training after this incident. Put your hands up, show me your hands. Jump.